Certain insects can cause major damage to your lands. These insects may change shape across seasons and live off your crop, from the planted seed all the way to the cob. Examples of insects that feed on maize seed and seedlings include wireworms, larvae of the spotted maize beetle, and cutworms. These insects reduce the emerged plant population, and if they are not controlled, the crop might have to be replanted. Different insects feed on different parts of the maize plant, often on more than one part of the plant. Examples include ground weevils feeding on the leaves, African bollworm feeding on leaves and cobs, maize leafhoppers and aphids feed on the sap in the stem of the plant. The spotted maize beetle feeds on silks and cobs, while maize stalk borers feed on leaves, stems and cobs. The dreaded fall armyworm attacks the leaves, stems, ears and tassels of the maize plant. Insects have specific life cycles and can change form in each phase. Adult stalk borers, for instance, lay eggs which overwinter in the grasses. Once the worms or larvae emerge, they gradually move to other hosts like maize. The adult larvae then pupate in the stalk and emerge again as moths. Aphids also go through various stages, but mostly give live birth. Some aphids, however, hatch from eggs. It is important to get to know the life cycles of insects prone to attacking your crops and use an integrated approach to control them. Winter and spring cultivation can assist to control pests. This is of specific note in cases of badly infested plant residues and the soil should be without a host plant for at least 35 days before planting. Crop diversity holds many short and long-term advantages. To break the life cycle of the pest, it is advised to rotate maize with a crop that does not attract the insect you are targeting. Another consideration is planting a BT seed cultivar resistant to specific problematic pests. Note that when using these seeds, you have to also plant a strip with non-resistant seed. The reason is that insects can build immunity against the BT seed if not given other breeding and feeding options. Controlling pests with chemicals can also be helpful. Seed can be treated or insecticide could be applied separately. When spraying insecticides, read the label and follow exact dosage instructions. Application time will depend on the insect and the stage of plant development. Be careful not to use pesticides that also kill useful predators which feed on these insects, as this is nature's way of controlling insect populations. Most importantly, inform yourself on which insects can harm your crop and keep a watchful eye on your lands. Ask for professional advice when unsure about the insect species and which control measures to follow. <laughs>